What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying a grub bluegill jig. This one is a killer. So for the head, I'm using a 1 16th ounce jig head. This is a size 4 sickle hook. I powder painted that with Protec Chartreuse. For the thread, I'm going to be using some Unifloss. It's basically a super thick thread that you use to build up bodies rather than using it as regular wrapping thread. So you can just build that, that body a lot quicker without wasting thread. So we're just going to start that behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. And if it ever gets too flat, you can just twist your bobbin clockwise and it'll fix it. For the tail, I'm going to be using a single chartreuse marabou feather. I'm going to make this tail about half the length that I normally would because we want it just to be a tiny little tail just for attraction basically. So we're just going to wrap that in really tight, give it a few tight wraps. Then we're going to clip that feather so it goes about up to the head when we finish tying it in. And then tie it down with our Unifloss. Alright, and once you've got that tied in tight, we're going to tie in a piece of monofilament. I'm using a 4 pound mono line. We're going to tie that in at the head and tightly tie it in down to the tail. And for the grubby body, we're going to be using Kylie's Exoskin Chartreuse. This is just a really cool body material for flies, but it look, works really well for this jig. It's very flexible. We're just going to cut off a strip about an eighth inch wide. And then we're going to clip that at a point so that it won't be as much to tie down. We're going to tie it in about halfway down the body and then we're going to pull that so it stretches and tie it down the rest of the way to the tail. And now we're going to use that floss just to build up the body as much as we need to. This should be perfect. So I'm just going to wet finish that. Clip that off as close as you can. Okay, now I switch to a 6 aught uni thread. This is a chartreuse color. We're just going to start that behind the head, take it down to the tail. and then bring it back up to the head again just to make sure it's secure. Now we're going to take that exoskin and we're going to create a grubby body with it. So we're just going to wrap that around and then we're going to pull it not too tight just, uh, just enough so that it stretches out a tiny bit and we're just going to overlap each turn about halfway. So you want half of that exoskin to go over the back half and just continue that all the way until you get to the head. Make sure to keep constant tension because if you change the tension, the body will be lumpy. You want it to be nice and even. And then once you get it up to the head, you can pull it a little bit tighter. This helps it stay tied down. Gonna give it a few good turns of thread, a turn in front of the skin, and then clip that off. And then now we're going to take our monofilament and just follow those turns that we did with the exoskin. We want that mono to just go right behind the turn in front, just like this. So just follow that the best you can. And this will really bring out the ribbing on that body and make it look really buggy. You can see the difference there between the part that has the ribbing and the part that doesn't. So we're just going to bring that up the same way. And once you get it to the head, you can tie that down. Make sure you tie that tight. It is mono, so you want to make sure it's really secure. And then clip it off as close as you can. And now we're going to whip finish. So just the usual five or six turn whip finish. 
and you can double whip finish on this or you can put super glue if you want to make sure it stays together. I like to put a little bit of super glue. So I'm just going to put a tiny drop and just smear it around on that whip finish. And then another cool thing you can do with this is you can put a clear coat over the whole body, make it really glossy and hard. But I like to have it just like this. It's a little gummy so if a fish bites it, it's more like a grub and they seem to hold on longer. So if you like this jig, make sure to tie up a few. They sure work well. You can catch some big bluegill and big crappie. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.